The Soda City Live calling all biscuit lovers. There is a new spot in town that you're going to want to check out this weekend. It's already in the name, Vicious Biscuit. Doesn't that make you want to pull up a chair already? It's oh, yeah. making its debut in the Forest Acres area. It's this new home, six other locations, and we're so happy to have Michael Greeley, the Vicious Biscuit co-owner, <laughs> co-founder as well, and the visionary behind, one of the many visionaries <laughs> behind this amazing restaurant. Thank you so much and welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we'll start off with the simple question of why? Why are these biscuits viciously tasty? <laughs> oh, well, that's a secret recipe, so I really can't tell you. Ah, <laughs> yeah, see, it's all in the recipe. But behind the name, though, it, it's, it's different. We have the flying biscuit and, you know, sure. those names like that. But vicious just tells me that it's, it's, it's packed full of flavor. It is. And it's also, these biscuits are pretty big. They're pretty hefty. Mm -hmm. uh, they're about the biggest you're going to find around here. Yeah. So they really live with the name vicious. I'm excited to try them, but we're going to be mm -hmm. making some drinks today as well. Sure. And you all are kicking off your grand opening this weekend. So right. tell us what types of dishes folks will find at Vicious Biscuit. Well, of course, we're biscuit centric in the name, um, but typically you can get the biscuit on the side just by itself. We have a jam and butter bar, which is fantastic Ooh. for people come mm -hmm. in different types. So we make all the butters in house, things like that. Um, but also you're typically going to find more of sandwiches. So we're from mm -hmm. breakfast to lunch. We close at three o'clock every day, 7 a.m. during the week, 8 a.m. to 3 on the weekends. Um, so it's more very breakfast, brunch, lunch oriented. So. Shrimp and grits is a classic one. I was going to say, I've never seen shrimp and grits on a biscuit. Yeah. That's our spin creative. on it. You did that. Mm -hmm. it, what's that? I said, you did that. Because you're the <laughs> chef. We also want to point out that you are also a chef as well and as a co-founder and co-owner. And you you kind of curated all of these dishes. And so this is true Southern charm right here. Oh, I mean, you can't not have shrimp and grits. Oh yeah, absolutely. On a biscuit yeah. menu. And so I know that Forest Acres is just one of many locations that you have mm -hmm. already. What was the idea to create uh, another brunch and breakfast spot in the Carolinas? It was very organic, to be honest. Um, I was looking to start a new concept, and the idea of a breakfast one came from basically my wife and I uh, wanted to get out after 10.30 in the morning to get a nice big biscuit breakfast, which you can't really get because that's mm -hmm. when most bre breakfast places would shut down. Yeah. Uh, we had a six-month-old son at the time, so everything oh, takes yeah. twice as long to oh, get yeah. out of the house. Oh, yeah, we get it. We know. So uh, <laughs> the breakfast idea was kind of floating around, and my wife was like, we should do biscuits. Oh, absolutely. And so I said, okay, we can do biscuits, but I'm not going to do normal biscuits. Yeah, well, I have to ask, <laughs> where are you originally from the Carolinas? I was born in Newberry. You were so born yeah. in Newberry, oh, so yeah. I am a native. Right. Tells me it's going to pass mm -hmm. the vibe check, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, nothing like, <laughs> nothing like dishes and growing up in the country with some good southern biscuits, so yeah. I know that you have a special recipe for sure. One of oh, the yeah. other things that you like to offer, in addition to the food, are some tasty cocktails. So mm -hmm. you can have a brunch for the adults and bring you some baby milk for, for the, for oh, the yeah. babies out there. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. So let's get into it. What are some, what are one of your specialty drinks that you'll show us out today? Uh, the two we're going to make today, we're going to do our mimosa, and we're okay. going to do a Bloody Mary. All righty. Well, oh, yeah. I can mm -hmm. help pass this down. Okay. Bloody Mary. So what is in, uh, I don't know, is it a secret? First, uh, let me know. We have, <laughs> we have, we have, we have many secrets. Okay, many secrets. So <laughs> is it a traditional Bloody Mary? Just it is. All the works, tomato base. Mm -hmm. And we uh, can make it a little spicy if you want, but it's more okay. of a traditional Bloody Mary. Some things we try to keep a little more traditional. I go Understood. too crazy with it. Mm -hmm. We kind of let the biscuits speak for themselves when okay, it comes to nice. that. Okay, uh, I'm ready to try them. Our, our mimosas do stand out because the orange juice is fresh squeezed in house. We have a big machine that actually you can wash them when you walk up. Oh, it, wow. it dumps the oranges is, cuts some juices on right into your glass. Nice. Oh. So it doesn't get fresher than that. All okay, righty, well, good. walk us through it. Right, well, yeah, mimosas are pretty basic. Mm -hmm. You know, start with your orange juice, pour a little bit in your glass. Now, are you one of those people that pours more champagne than the orange juice? Of course. Or, okay, okay. <laughs> I know. Just a little, How just else a do you make a mimosa? There's, of different, orange juice. there's different hues of orange juice I've learned. <laughs> some people like the mostly orange juice with a splash it's, of the champagne, and then some people just like the essence of orange. Well, it's brunch, <laughs> not breakfast. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah. awesome. So, little trick though, make sure you're always putting the juice in first in your glass before okay. you put the champagne, or else you will have a mess on your hands. Okay, that avoids the right. mess, I was mm -hmm. going to say, yeah. And do you all have like other mimosa flavors? Flavors as well. We have different juices that different we can juices. make different mimosas okay. with. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and most of your juices, they're all fresh squeezed. Uh, the orange the juice. juice is the only one that's really fresh, fresh squeezed okay. in house. Mm -hmm. All right. That's kind of our focal point of our juices. Awesome. And so that's all there is to it. Real simple. Definitely going to try right. that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that aside. Okay. And then the Bloody Mary. <laughs> Bloody I, Mary. I've never seen. I've, I know Bloody Mary has tomato juice in it, and mm -hmm. I've never really understood the concept. Never had one. 
either. So I'm, I'm interested to see how it's made. Well, this is for people who want to drink their breakfast. Okay. 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 It should have some health benefits <laughs> as vegetables, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, a typical Bloody Mary mix, though, it's a blend of tomato juice with spices, mm -hmm. maybe Worcestershire, Tabasco, anything people want it. How spice you want yeah. it, they'll add olive juice, anything else to it. So I think this will go really well with that shrimp and grits. It goes well with everything. Oh, I, yeah, I believe it. But then you kick it up a notch with a Bloody Mary and you use the vodka. Mm -hmm. So with this one, you put the vodka in first. Correct. Okay. I guess I could have used the jigger here. But. Yeah. Hey, listen. You're a pro. Hey. Listen for people, they want to do it at home. <laughs> I don't think anyone has one of those. We're just having fun right We're now. We're just having fun right now. There you you eye it. That's the one thing I'll say about being in the South. We don't like measuring a lot of things here. We like to eye things. You know, normally I'd have it over ice, but it was going to melt. So yeah. I was it's unable good. to bring it. Then we garnish it. The bacon is oh, just, yeah. that's not your oh. normal bacon. This is our vicious candied bacon. We make mm -hmm. it in the house, so it's brown sugar and other spices. We bake it in. It's absolutely delicious. Sounds like oh, a good yeah. appetizer, too. It is. And it's and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love the I love the presentation. Yeah, that looks great. Oh, nice. Okay. There you okay. go. All right, good. The we mimosa and the Bloody Mary. So mm -hmm. those are the two drinks. Let's put them right Correct. next to each other. Yes. We're put them next and we, to have, we have lots of other drinks, too. We also, of course, have sodas, teas, mm -hmm. we uh, specialty coffees. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's pause really quick and take a look at some of the pictures of the restaurant. This is like a virtual tour as you're walking right in, going inside, taking a look at it. And this is where you'll be presented with some of these tasty dishes that I know Sierra cannot wait to try. Now listen, I've been talking about it because I've been looking forward to it. Now, when you were to, are to describe the vicinity in which this location is, where would you say is nearby? Uh, it is in Forest Acres on Forest Drive. It's right across the street from Lizard Thickets. Okay. And it's the old Italian pie location. Oh, I know exactly where that mm -hmm. is. Yes. That's how most people know where it is. Listen, you know, WIS, we're right down the road. Mm -hmm. So I know where I'm going to be going for lunch now because mm -hmm. you'll still be open at that time. But talk <laughs> to me a little bit about the black card. Is this like the, the, the rewards program. This is a new program that we're rolling out. Uh, so coming up the rest of this week, this is going to be part of the promotions. We have our grand opening. We're in the midst of it right now. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing free entrees for all EMS, firefighters, police, military awesome. when they come in. Anytime you show your ID, you get a free entree. Okay. Friday is our ribbon cutting ceremony. So this is going to be kind of the pomp and circumstance. Everyone's going to be there doing it. And then Saturday is our big grand opening. It's going to be a big party. That Price of the come out. It's going to be fun. And so we're going to have swag bags for the first 100 guests into the door on Saturday. These nice little mugs there. It's got some fun little stuff in it. Um, and you get a free entree with the purchase of an entree, as well as we're oh. going to have our black card in all these bags. So this mm -hmm. is our new, as you said, rewards program. So if you get all these punched, you can bring it back and get a free entree once per month. Yeah. Once you get them all purchased. And They're going to be punched all by next week for me. I, yeah. I would love that. <laughs> well, matter there of fact, you go. let's That's pull of the details to make sure that everyone is in the number for this grand opening. It is going to be kicking off very soon. We'll have those details actually online, but you just heard there's going to be a number of ways that you can support mm -hmm. the grand opening. Uh, and congratulations to you all. This is your sixth you. Vicious Biscuit? Uh, this is our sixth one. Okay. Or no, no, I'm sorry. This is our seventh location. Your seventh, seventh location. location. Yeah, it's used to yeah. saying six. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's brand new. Where so. are your other locations? Uh, we're based out of Charleston. Okay. So we have one in Charleston, one, or one in Mount Pleasant, mm -hmm. and one in Somerville and Charleston. We're also in Wilmington. We're in Boone. Um, we have one in Charlotte and in Jacksonville. Okay. All, all right. Now. Nice. Now, I know we're running, out of, we're running out of time. We're going to eat this off camera. You're not going to see us eat them because, listen, <laughs> we don't have enough time for us to stuff our faces. But let's go through what flavors you have. Sure. You mentioned the shrimp and grits, but mm -hmm. what, is, what are the other two on the outside? So this is the Vicious. Mm -hmm. This is basically our flagship. It's a good segue into the rest of the menu. It starts yeah. with a cheddar and jalapeno buttermilk <sighs> biscuits. It's our house breaded crispy fried chicken, our maple sausage gravy that we make in-house from scratch every day. Cowboy candy, that's candied jalapenos. Candied jalapenos. Candied jalapenos. Oh, so it actually goodness. it cuts some of the heat, so you just get the sweetness and the uh, flavor of the pepper without all the true spiciness of it if you can't handle mm -hmm. that. It comes with a uh, maple syrup drizzle over it. So it's, it's breakfast and lunch all in I one place. That's good lunch if you guys basically. can't tell. And then this one is the Fat Boy. This is our number one top tier seller. This is the classic buttermilk biscuit, fried chicken, house-made pimento cheese, and a hot honey drizzle. All right. It's, it's about good. as southern fried chicken sandwich as you can get. It's fantastic. Listen, I'm, I'm going to take a fork and a knife, and we're going to dig in, but we're going to take you to break. I think the details are right there on your screen, Billy Jean. Here's a fork. Thank you very much. I know you make the, you are the inventor of the biscuit, so I'm going to give you a fork, too. You Thank can you. join us in this, All but right. we're going to take a quick break. Make sure you're there tomorrow. Details right there on your screen. Time mm -hmm. to be there, and time ends. Hey, we open at 7 o'clock. Be there at 6.45. All righty. Well, let's <laughs> dig in. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more again. Make sure you're in that number. And if you're looking for a brunch spot for you and your friends to hang out and be outside, <laughs> this will definitely mm -hmm. be one of those spots you'll want to check out. So Absolutely. stick with us. We have more on the other side of this break.